Captain and today's video is I'm going to show you on this video, it's more of a now to video, about how I cut up soda cans every time when I scratch build. Now you can use any can you like. You can use this can, now I'm asking do I really like. And I do get cans that I never drank because I found them on the side of the road. Like this one, now I never ever drank this, so I'm not sure if it's whatever drink it is, but I like to take it anyway because of the can. I don't really drink that. Now if you're doing this project, I would suggest you get the biggest can ever. Even if it's big as you, because that's what I would want to have. But the point is, I'm going to show you how to cut them up the way I do, and here's what I mean. Now make sure it's lined up like this, not this way, because the metal will be crooked when, when you cut it up. So what I do is I do it like this, and simply turn like that. And if the metal, see this metal piece that will be close to my hand? Well, I was just turning it, and then keep cutting until it happens again. And then you pull it off, and you can easily throw that in the trash, which I just did. And now you use your metal cutters again, and you cut like this until you get to this line right here. You can see. And when you get to the line, you keep cutting on the line until you get to the other, until the until it's no longer a line. Then you cut it off and half of it's complete. And you might be wondering, how do I get the bottom off? Well, I use the same pliers, or metal cutters, whatever you call them, and you pr press on like this, and you cut until until it's cut off like that. And the same thing as this side, you cut right here until you line it up. Like that. And then, once you're done cutting both sides, the easy thing to do is, what I like to do is, if you like to keep the whole can, Soda cans have like a line right here. I don't know why, but you can see right here. That's why I like to cut off of because I I feel like that keeps the whole can logo intact. So I'm gonna get some scissors and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, I got some scissors. Now these are junky scissors. And you simply cut the line like this, down right center. And when you can't cut the line all the way, you can cut like this way. And there you go. And you might be wondering, how do I make this flat if it's round? Well, if we go to the stairs, now, if we go to the stairs, this is very important if you want this flat, or you can use this just the way it is as a boiler for a locomotive. But here's how I do it. Oh, and one more thing I forgot. If you're gonna cup soda cans, like how I do it, to scratch build and stuff, make sure you clean the can first because you don't like to touch the residue on it. That's always nasty. And you simply do it like this. this is... As you can see, it's getting less into its original shape. And then you keep doing the process until it's totally flat. We're coming, we're getting there. I'll speed the process up. And voila, you keep doing the process and this is the result you'll get. Now you can get flatter than this. What I would recommend is, I know some of you won't have this and neither do I, is get a drill press or a press that like squeezes the metal flat, completely flat. And yeah, now the way how I like to get these unwanted uh, bumps on the side, is I simply cut some si use scissors to cut the line flat just the way I like it and make sure I make sure you have a trash can all the time because there will be pieces you don't want and keep doing the process like this
I mean, it's actually better than this side. We keep doing it until. Voila, you got. I know it's not a perfect line, but that's how you use soda can metal. Now, this is a t technique I trained myself for to use soda can metal. Now, I know this is going to seem dangerous, but now I do touch the sharp part for, on the side first, but if you press very, very lightly, you won't get cut. I'm going to demonstrate of how that is. Like, you see how light it is? And to show proof that I didn't cut myself, there's nothing. If you press that lightly, press lightly as you can until it feels a tiny bit sharp, not too much. And don't just like do, and don't do like this way, because if you do, you'll cut your hand real easily. And make sure you be careful with soda can metal, because it is sharp. I have cut myself from the guinea when I started this process, but I really don't cut myself like I used to. It, it's a, extremely rare. Anyways, thank you for saying goodbye and have a very awesome day.